Hi everyone, this is Cesar with Gibson Guitars and I'm here to talk to you about our Gibson Acoustics. This year we have recalibrated our collection of acoustic guitars into original collection and modern collection. You know, the, the journey starts with Orville Gibson in 1894 where he started making instruments in his own workshop in Kalamazoo, Michigan, handcrafting instruments that became legacy, inspiration, heritage and something that we still do today. And we look back at that legacy, we look back at the heritage that Orville left us. We've also been listening to a lot of what you have all been telling us that you wanted to see out of Gibson Acoustics. The original collection pays tribute to our iconic past. It looks back at our golden era. It really leverages what we were doing in the 50s and the 60s. And the modern collection looks at how do we lean into the future with modern features and different types of woods, different appointments, different playability, and a different experience. So let me highlight some of the major differences between the original and the modern. The original collection, they all have period correct appointments. So we're focused on pick guards, tuners, and other features that make them look original 50s and 60s. We also do period correct finishes, antiquing. They all have LR bags, VTC electronics, and in some of the cases where we have adjustable saddles, such as the J45 and the J50, which are the 60s spec, we go without a pickup to be able to put an adjustable saddle and be more period correct. They all have bone, nuts, and saddles. And so those are the five major differences between the original collection and the modern collection. I'm here now with some great examples of our original collection. On my left, I have an LG2 from the 50s in vintage sunburst. On my right, a Dove, beautiful vintage cherry sunburst. And in my hand, is 60s J45 in ebony. All wonderful throwback guitars in the spirit of a time when acoustic music was king. The 1960s J45 is just a throwback to a time and place and a look that just makes me smile. This guitar features a short scale fingerboard, 24 and 3 quarters, which is incredibly versatile. It responds wonderfully to a light touch, but will take a strum like any other guitar out there in the world. We've chosen to forego a pickup in the 60s versions of the J45 and J50 and utilize the adjustable bridge, which is prevalent from that era. It makes for ease of adjustment by the player and just gives it a tonality that again is unique to this time, to this model. You won't hear this sound from any other instrument. The 1960s J45 original in ebony, beautiful instrument. The Dove original in vintage Cherry Sunburst. This guitar is iconic first introduced to the marketplace in 1962, maple back and sides just gives it a crispness, a brightness, a volume that you just do not get out of a lot of guitars of this size, of this style. Maple neck, Sitka spruce top, and the iconic detailings that make a Gibson Dove a Gibson Dove. The pick guard, the bridge, the parallelograms. This guitar comes equipped with an LR Bags VTC pickup system, so it's stage and studio ready. 25 and a half inch scale length which lets you just drive it you can't beat this guitar up the harder you hit it the louder it gets the 25 and a half inch scale length gives it the nice tension and pop and crispness that you can only get out of a dove one of the questions that we get asked a lot of gibson is hummingbird dove what are the basic differences well there's two main differences from these two models the basic differences are the dove is a 25 and a half inch scale length which gives it a little more pop a little more tension you can drive it harder whereas the Hummingbird is 24 and 3 quarters. And more importantly, the back and sides on a Dove traditionally are maple with a maple neck, and a Hummingbird is mahogany with a mahogany neck. So the tonalities are different. The Dove's gonna be a little crisper, a little cleaner, a little brighter. The Hummingbird's gonna be a little warmer, a little richer, a little more balanced across the spectrum. Just your choice, which one you like best. The new Dove Original from Gibson Acoustic. I'm holding now a 50s LG2 from our original collection. This guitar is a wonderful variation on the El Below that was introduced in the 30s and was first released to the market in 1942. This 50s version has the period correct tuners, logo, color, pickguard, everything that just screams 50s. Short scale fingerboard, 24 and 3 quarters, just makes it a wonderful finger style guitar. The mahogany and spruce gives it a balance that's just magical, the way it blends with voices 
It's a singer-songwriter's dream. The LG2 50s original from Gibson Acoustic. So let's talk about the Modern Collection. What is the Modern Collection? Modern Collection is a new interpretation of our icons. It's a new way of making guitars. It's providing more accessible instruments at different price points. It's incorporating new woods. It's doing different types of fingerboards. And so let me tell you about a couple of those features. They all include electronics. So every single guitar in the Modern Collection comes with a pickup that is ready to be used on stage in the studio or at home. We start playing with different radius fingerboards. For example, we use 16 inch radius fingerboard and it allows for you know, an easier way to bend and a more modern feel, which is something that we ended up incorporating in the Slash collection. We also incorporate cutaways for better access to the high frets. We have more modern tuners and tusk nuts and saddles. And all of that brings more versatility and playability for the working musician. I'm here now with some examples from our modern collection from Gibson Acoustic. I have a songwriter cutaway on my left. I have a 200 Rosewood Studio on my right. And I'm holding the new L00 Studio Rosewood. This collection encompasses a lot of different styles of guitars. Everything from our new G series J45s to our standards. Studios this year available once again in Walnut or Rosewood. The songwriters which have worked well for us for years and our modern cutaways which we just released several years ago. All these guitars come with pickups so they're stage and studio ready and we like to think in this line there is a guitar for everybody. I'm holding in my hands the L00 Studio Rosewood. The Studio Series was introduced to the line several years ago and for this year we've added Rosewood variations to all of our iconic models in their studio version. Rosewood gives you that warmth and roundness of low mids that you can't get out of any other wood. Add a mahogany neck to that, a Sitka spruce top. This guitar also includes a 16 inch radius fingerboard, a little flatter than our traditional board, which makes it easier to bend strings. Great for that player that wants to transition back and forth from electric to acoustic without having a big difference between the feel of the fingerboard. The neck is also just slightly slimmer on this guitar, giving it just a wonderful hand feel. The appointments are great. Equipped with an active pickup system, great for the stage and studio. 24 inch scale length, ease of play, wonderful finger style guitar, wonderful singer songwriter guitar, and just a great player's instrument. The L00 Studio from Gibson Acoustic, part of the new modern collection. I'm holding now the SJ200 Studio Rosewood. SJ200 has been one of our staples since 1937 with a 17 inch lower bow. Big body, warm, rich, moves a lot of air. You know, the way the guitar creates tone is the top actually deflects, pushing the sound waves into the guitar, where the different body shapes and different woods temper that sound before it's projected out of the instrument. That's why different guitars sound different. The studio version of this guitar is available in either walnut or rosewood back and sides. So this particular one is rosewood. The rosewood is just wonderful for its roundness of mid-range, great warmth of tone. Now one thing that makes the studio slightly different from our standard model is slightly slimmer body. It's a little more comfortable to hold but does not affect the tone at all. We also added a flatter fingerboard to the studios. Ease of bending strings, better for the player that transitions back and forth from electric to acoustic to not have such a big jump, so to speak. Nice slim neck on this, wonderful feel, and it comes equipped with an active pickup system so it's ready for stage or studio. 25 and a half inch scale length means you can drive this thing. Hit it hard, hit it as hard as you want. You're not gonna beat it up. It's just gonna get louder and louder the harder you hit it. The appointments on this, again, are fall right in line with our traditional J200s with the block and what we call the crown logo, the crowns on the fingerboard, and of course, that mustache bridge. There's no mistaking a J200. J200 Studio Rosewood from Gibson Acoustic Modern Collection. I have in my hands now the Songwriter Standard EC. This guitar was developed in the mid-90s, not as a traditional Gibson per se. It doesn't have the square shoulders of a Hummingbird, the slope shoulders of a 45. Built like every Gibson, historic guts, but just in kind of modern packaging. 25 and a half inch scale length, so you get a lot of volume, you can hit it hard, but it responds really nice to a soft touch finger style. Active pickup system, ready to go for stage and studio. Another thing that this guitar has is a secret weapon. The bracing on the top of this guitar is open to five degrees wider than our standard bracing. And with this guitar, it just gives it a dynamic range and 
opens up this lower bout and just gives it a boom. That's just wonderful. Another feature of the Songwriter Standard EC is this is a guitar that we do utilize the onboard Fishman Prefix Plus T system. It's a wonderful system, uh, great equalization, has a tuner built in, just great hands-on controls for that player that wants a little bit more flexibility in his electronics at his fingertips. Songwriter EC Standard from Gibson Acoustic, part of the Modern Collection. I hope that made it easier to understand the differences between the original collection and the modern collection with the original looking back at the 50s and 60s and how we make guitars back in the golden era and the modern collection where we incorporate new features, where we bring new uh, versatility and playability in a way that helps us lean into the future.